Welcome to the Highlands course of Macklemore, an outstanding top 100 course that you can play with me summers here at Macklemore. A Reese Jones, Bill Bergen award-winning design that features a lot of rock outcroppings, fairway bunkers, and some twists and turns along the way. Don't be afraid of ledges and heights because you're gonna deal with that right off the bat here on the first hole. And to the left of this hole is the Cloudland, the Curio Collection of Hilton Hotel, which will open in 2024. As you look at every hole, realize that you've got six tee boxes and pick the tee box that works for you best so you can maximize the fun, not necessarily the challenge of playing Macklemore the first time. Now, as we look down the first hole, a very long par five, but let's not have it daunt you. Let's not have it fear you. Play your tee ball down the right side. The fairway cambers to the left and that collection bunker there can certainly gobble up a few drives every once in a while. Being to the right is gonna allow you a perfect angle to go for this green in two or make two good layup shots to place the ball strategically on a very accepting and fair green. Yes, look at Macklemore Cove over the edge. This is your first opportunity to see why this is such a glorious golf course that you're gonna have a lot of fun playing. Hey, if you're not excited already playing number one at the Highlands course at Macklemore, this, arguably a signature hole of any other golf course, is definitely gonna excite you. You start to see the canyon type design and the Highland type design that Bill Bergen and Reese Jones took advantage of. We see number six fairway in the background, but most importantly, here on number two, we see the water. And this is the only hole on the entire course that has water in play in such a manner. Make sure if you're a better player, take one less club off the tee box. This way you won't get in trouble off the tee, you won't bring the water into play, you won't have to deal with the narrowness of the right side. And by the way, this green plays a little more elevated than it looks. Take an extra club for your approach shot and put it as tight as you can on this short green. It's gonna give you an ample opportunity to make birdie. Okay, a nice little Highlands par three, number three here at the Highlands of Macklemore. Pay attention to the back left. If you go back left, that's death. Play the ball a little bit right of center. It'll filter back into the center and give yourself a good opportunity at birdie. Okay, you've made it through a third of the Highlands course. What do you think so far? Really breathtaking holes, a lot of ups and downs, Highlands, Parkland. We've yet to get to the canyons, but we will. Number four now leaves you a little bit of breathing room to at least let your driver out a little bit. But be careful if you're a better player. From where I'm standing on the back tee box, it's a 301 yard shot to the hazard that's over to the left-hand side. Play your tee ball over the right rock cropping. It'll camber back to the left. It leaves you a short approach shot to a very generous green sloping back to front. Leaving the ball below the hole is gonna give you a wonderful opportunity for birdie. Okay, four holes down, five left to play. The blind tee shot may have gotten here on number four, but if you walked away with a par, that's a really good score because now you're faced with an uphill par three. And you can see as the camera pans around how much uphill it is. There's a lot of things being hidden from you here, particularly on the left side of the green. Play for the middle no matter what the yardage is. Two putt, go on, grab your par, because the next hole, number six, provides you a fantastic birdie opportunity. Oh, by the way, if you don't take the extra club here, don't be surprised if you have a front chip shot to deal with. Okay, you're more than halfway through the front nine of Macklemore. You're now on number six tee. One of the opportunities for birdie, but it's a challenging hole in that as you look down the fairway, hey, where's my green? Well, let me tell you, hit it as far as you want down the left-hand side. And when we get up there to retrieve your ball, you're gonna see the green and you're gonna have to do some math to figure out what to do with your second shot. 
So you've hit a great tee shot to the sixth fairway and now you're faced with this 125 foot drop for your second shot. Don't be fearful. Go ahead and pull the club out that you need, normally two less clubs, and go for that green. This is a great time for you to go after a birdie here at Macklemore. Okay, last of the three par threes on the front side of Macklemore, number seven. You've just come down a big hill off of number six. We're still faced with a slight hill here. May play a half club shorter. However, if the pin's over on the right-hand side, it doesn't play any shorter. That bunker makes you force the carry. If you can't carry it, play for the middle, get your two putts and go on with par. You're gonna feel real happy with that score here. The Highlands course, number seven at Macklemore. One of the unique things about the Highlands course at Macklemore is you've got three different architectural styles here, Canyon, Highlands, and in this case, on number eight, Parkland. Parkland's basically about a walk in the park. Can you see this in your backyard and you're just gonna walk through the park? Well, number eight does that here at Macklemore Highlands. Long, 458 from the back here at the tips, but it's a very doable hole. It's got a fair green complex, not too ungulating. Put it in the middle of the green and believe it or not, you've got a fair opportunity to walk away with birdie here and you're gonna need to get a good score here because number nine, it's treacherous. Here's another great example of a canyon style architectural hole that Mr. Bergen and Mr. Jones did a wonderful job seeing and placing you in the right position off the tee to make par. You've got to cross at least a 200 yard carry from where I stand from the back tees, it's roughly 240. But let's play up the right side, the fairway cambers to the left letting your ball careen down into the middle of the fairway. You can be left with 150 to 170 yard shot to a very big, but very fair green that's gonna allow you at the worst to walk away with par and make the turn feeling good about your front nine here at Macklemore's Highlands course. Okay, you're halfway through the Highlands course of Macklemore. Was that not a good front nine? Did it not demand a lot of attention from you in more ways than one? Not only the excitement of playing, but the demandingness of some of the shots. We get a little bit of reprieve here, 10 and 11, 12, starting here on number 10 tee box, but don't let these three holes lull you to sleep. If you do, you're gonna be in trouble. A short par four down the hill, you don't necessarily need driver to put it in the middle of the fairway. Big expanse of green east to west. Make sure you're on the correct side because it's tiered. When you do, you're gonna make your par and go on to 11. Okay, number 10, little reprieve hole starting the back nine. Now you're on 11. You're faced with a long par three and carry distance is essential here. It's slightly down the hill. However, it plays a little longer than it looks. Make sure you hit enough club to carry the green because if you don't and you're short, you're gonna be left with a tough up and down to make your par. Okay, if 11 hasn't gotten your attention by now and I told you on number 10, let's not lull you to sleep, number 12 will, straight up the hill. This is a much longer hole than what meets the eye. What's really important is a perfect tee shot so it doesn't travel off to the right. It'll leave you with a long second shot or two layup shots to a very generous but ungulating green. Make sure that you're hitting the middle of the green there and avoiding the bunker front left. Bunker front left is nothing but death. Get your par, par five, that's the goal. Let's move on to the 13th where you get a little bit of breathing room. You're two thirds of the way through the Highlands course at Macklemore when you approach the 13th tee box. A little bit of Highlands flair, as well as a little bit of relief, a little bit of breathing room, both figuratively and literally. The breathing room for you to take a deep breath and get prepared for your last third. But figuratively, because of the openness in the trees there, that will affect your ball as it lands on the green. As with any par three, let's walk away of par. Hit the middle of the green. This is a big green. 
And if you're not in the middle, such as this tuck right pin, you do not have a realistic chance of walking away with a two putt. Ensure your two putt, ensure the three here, keep the breathing room ready for you to go on with the last third of the Highlands course. One of my favorite holes at the Highlands course at Macklemore is hole 14. Why? It's pretty simple. It's slightly up a hill, plays one club longer with your approach shot, but most importantly, it's a realistic birdie opportunity. Don't get too greedy here. Just put the ball in the middle of the fairway, let it, let it carry them back to the left, and then take one more club for your approach shot. Put it in the middle of the green. There's a false front here. Put it in the middle of the green, two putts for par, walk home smiling and look backwards and you'll see what I mean by simplistic beauty. Okay, four more holes to play and right here on the 15th tee box, you now start to understand the majestic beauty behind the whole property of Macklemore. Off my shoulder, the outpost in the distance, the eighth hole, the eighth green, the 16th tee box. We're starting to see parts of Macklemore Cove during sunset. But most importantly, let's get our mind back on 15, a downhill dog leg to the right. Really important about placing your tee shot here and your second shot. Watch the right side, but don't play too aggressively and, and get too greedy down the left side. That fairway bunker will eat your ball alive. Hitting it over the water hazard in front of the green is really important. It meanders a lot closer to the green than you realize. Put it in the middle of the green. You've got a fantastic opportunity to make birdie here on number 15 at Macklemore's Highland course. Okay, three holes left, a Parkland style uphill, believe it or not, par four, number 16 here at the Highlands course of Macklemore. Two good shots put you on the green. However, what you can't see with your approach shot is the ravine in front of the green. You better make sure you clear that because if you don't, penalty, 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 and a big score is gonna happen. Green's very fair. Again, put it in the middle. You're gonna have a really good opportunity at birdie. Two more holes left. Macklemore is just a fantastic place to play and 17 shows why. A very unsung hole, but pivotal for you to get that last pure birdie opportunity under your belt. Take it down the left side, let the fairway bring it down to the center. You're gonna have a really good opportunity to hit a long second shot into the green. Two putts get you the birdie. Three putts safely get you to par and on to the signature hole. Okay, you've made it to one of the top 10 finishing holes in all the world is ranked by Lynx Magazine, the 18th hole of Macklemore's Highlands course. If you're right-handed, look for the fade. If you're left-handed, try to play that draw and use the hill and that rock formation as a target so your ball will carry them down the fairway, leaving you somewhere between 170 and 120 yards in based on how far you hit the shot. Make sure you don't go over the brow left. That's death, figuratively and literally. Hit your approach shot with at least one extra club, possibly two based on weather conditions, and hit the middle of the green to guarantee yourself a wonderful opportunity to finish one of the top 100 golf courses in America with a birdie. Okay, you finished your round and finished the tour of the Highlands course at Macklemore, a top 100 golf course you can play and obviously one of the most beautiful picturesque finishing holes in all the world. You can customize a program with me, whether it's an individual or a group, when you visit me here at Macklemore. It's life above the clouds is a lot of fun, very enjoyable, and it's experience that you're gonna talk about for a lifetime. Come join me.